Yo, so I just want to uh, kind of talk about the uh, the manner in which uh, a lot of these women are gonna a lot of a lot a manner of which a lot of these women try to play men. I do understand that uh, a lot of this stuff is hard to hear. You know what I mean? might be hard to hear, might be hard to um, accept, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, man, you know, this is about coming to the realization, you know, I, I really wish uh, black men would stop listening to these women, you know, stop listening to them, <clears throat> stop allowing them to Stop allowing them to um, have influence over your decisions because there was a reason why there's a reason why the man is supposed to be the leader. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a very important reason for that. And I don't want uh, I don't want black men to uh, just be, you know, just just have a lack of understanding about their role. You know what I mean? It's you know these people have messed with the gender roles, and they've and uh, you know because uh, a lot of men were born into this they don't understand what came before it they don't give you a comprehensive history of what came before it and uh you're going to if you rely on the things that people just tell you randomly you know you're going to fail <laughs> but uh man all I really wanted to say is uh, that I don't, you know, please stop listening to these women. Stop allowing them to have influence over your decisions. A lot of them use emotional emotions to, uh, to control you. They use their emotions. One thing y'all got to really remember is the fact that these women do not respect men who they can control and manipulate. That's a very important thing to know. They don't respect men that they can control and manipulate. You know, that means if a woman, if a woman sees that she can control you, manipulate you and get you to do all kinds of things how is she how is she gonna respect you you know she cannot respect you they only respect men who men of authority men who put their foot down you know men who say hey you know this is how it is and if you don't like it, then kick rocks. They have no choice but to respect that. You know, if you go into a relationship and you don't have your stuff together, that's an automatic zero respect for you. You know, they can pretend their way into a lot of things. A lot of black men, you know, these, these men who don't have their stuff together... You know, they get into relationships and a woman can pretend that she respects you. But you got to think, does she respect you more than she respects that man who has his stuff together? Do you get, do, does she give y'all equal respect? No. She can pretend though. She can stroke your ego. She can manipulate you. 
because a lot of men are easily manipulated. You know? These women have been manipulating men all their lives, starting with their fathers. Those that know their fathers. That was the first man they was able to manipulate. Because that man, he had a natural... He was naturally simpish towards his daughters. All men are going to be a, a naturally simpish towards their daughters. You know, they're going to be, you know, that's that's the first person that they they manipulate. And then they expect every man to follow in that path, follow behind in those footsteps. You now it's only the man who says no. You know, only the man says, no, you can't have everything you want just because, you know, those are men who get respect, you know, never get into a relationship on some 50-50 nonsense. You know, these women have sat around and said that they want leaders. Okay, they want leaders. They don't want equality no more. Equality hasn't worked out in their favor. So, do not <laughs> go into a relationship or no equality nonsense. You know, can't have it both ways. You can't have equality. You can't have equality and have leadership in the same token it does not work it is not going to work you know I'm just saying this for men who are going to be in these relationships with these women you know it's very important to do this stuff in the beginning because they like you they feel in you <laughs> they feel in you so do not you know, if you if you subject yourself to equality in the beginning, you're going to be subject to equality throughout your whole relationship. So when it comes to when it comes to a time where someone has to make this decision, <laughs> you're going to fall under equality because that is the model of your relationship. You know, that's the model that you fall under. You know. But I don't, I mean, please, I mean, if you have your stuff together, you, you don't have to listen to these women. You don't even have to consider their opinion. You know, why consider their opinion? You know, you did, you did your thing on your own. This is how they feel about you. They, when they do their thing on their own, they don't consider your opinion. They said, I did this by myself. Why should I consider your opinion? You know? It's hard for someone who does things on their own and then become, you know, then falls under an equality model. The equality model is only for you, black man. It has nothing to do with her. It's nothing to do with them. You know, that, that's, that equality shit is for you. <laughs> it's for you to do. They do what they want. These women have been manipulating you and, and, and men, period. They've been manipulating you. This is one reason why I say <clears throat> do not take them seriously. Do not consider their opinions. Their, the black woman's opinion is irrelevant. Why would I make a video saying that? Their opinions are irrelevant to any man who is a leader you know in a leadership situation are you going to even consider a woman's opinion no you know decisions have to be made you know you got to do it could only be one leader you know if we're talking about relationships then that has 
really mainly to do with the household. You know, that has to do with household and has to do with children. You know, that's a lot. That's that's what a lot of these women want. You know, they want they want you to go out in the world and be leaders. But when you get home, you go back to the equality model. <laughs> you go back to, you know, things like that. You know, never, never get with a woman who's on equal footing with you. Well, I mean, financially, who is equally financial with you. Why would you do such a thing? I don't care what these women tell you. They're going to tell you that that's what you're supposed to do. Find somebody who's on equal level with you. Why do you think these women alone? (laughs) You listening to people who can't find men? (laughs) They can't find men, yet they want to give relationship advice. You know? It's funny. They're funny, man. Funny. Can't find a man, but yet still, they want to tell you, you know, how to have successful relationships and all that nonsense. What it takes to get with them. Well, I tell you what, you keep whatever you got, cause I'm do- I'm doing my thing over here. You know, <laughs> I'm doing my thing over here. I don't need you. I don't need your opinion. I, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go get me a woman who's complimentary to me. You have to get someone who compliments you, not someone who is constantly in opposition with you. You know, a lot of men, you know, this is the reason why uh, a lot of uh, a lot of white women come along and take these uh these successful the successful black man because they compliment them it has nothing to do with race it has to do with compliment complimentary it has to do with whether or not that person compliments you in your life you only got if you only got one life to live are you gonna live that stuff you're gonna live out your life with someone who's constant, who you're in constant, uh, constant, uh, competition with, constant, you know, yeah, yeah, you, you, you're just competing for, over anything, over little stuff, over, you know, what bills to pay, if you had your stuff together, you'd be paying all your bills, and you wouldn't be worried about, you know, some woman, you know, I, I seen that little clip by, uh, a little clip by um Nicki Minaj talking about oh if you wanna if you just want a woman that you could walk all over or you want these kind of women trying to shame dudes into wanting loud mouth obnoxious ass females oh you want these kind of women who ain't gonna say nothing you know trying to shame trying to shame th- th- those kind of women and trying to shame black men for wanting them <laughs> in the first place. Oh, that's what you want? You's a bitch ass nigga. Or some some garbage she was she was spewing. I, y'all need to go find that damn clip and look it up. I think it was that one of her uh concerts. I think uh Angry Man had it on one of his videos. You know, had that clip on one of his videos. And uh Yeah man, that just show that just goes to show you the level of the level of ignorance these women will go to the lengths to which they'll go through to not follow to not follow you know they're not good followers it ain't got nothing to do with whether black men are good leaders or not it has to do with the fact that they are not good followers and if you don't believe me you got to ask yourself, uh, why is it so easy for, hold on, 
why is it so easy for these other races of women to just come along, take these men without a problem, without, with no competing whatsoever. They don't even have to compete for these men. They don't even have to compete. That's because a lot, a lot of black women have allowed uh, little, little dumb females like Nicki Minaj to be their mouthpiece. You know, they're co-signing the garbage that comes out of her mouth. They co-sign it. So they have real, really have no excuse. I don't want to hear how you're brainwashed. I don't want to hear uh, how, you know, you know, a lot of black women come with that bullshit. Oh, you know, we were brainwashed just like a, just like black men were brainwashed. Blah, blah, blah. We were brainwashed. So what? <laughs> I don't see no change going on. I don't see no change going on for the black woman, black female community. They're still on the same shit. They're still talking shit about black men. They're still, uh, you know, where are the good black women at? There's a few of them out there. There's the, uh, you know, I see a few of them, but it's not enough. Where's the coalition? <laughs> I, need, I, I need to see a coalition. I could get behind them. I can't get behind one or two of you. It ain't enough. One or two of you ain't enough. Three or four of you ain't enough. I need the whole co I need a coalition. You know? A coalition, a real voice. You know? I need voices. I don't need one voice, I need voices. You know what I mean? I can hear that one voice, but that, that voice ain't loud enough. That is not a call, you know, but, you know, I hope, I mean, you know, I hope that, uh, I can't wait, though, I can't wait, I can't wait to, uh, black men get their shit together, man, it's gonna happen, man, <laughs> I'm telling you, don't believe the media hype, don't believe the shit you see, on the news because that represents a very small percentage of black men that represents a very small percentage you know but a lot of black men they don't know the game and they've heard these women loud and clear they want leaders so black women y'all better be careful what you ask for you know you better be careful what you ask for See, what, you know, what it boils down to is that when y'all get y'all stuff together, these women are going to be the biggest opposition to you, the biggest opposition to your happiness, black man. You know, when, when a black woman does her thing, nobody trips on it. When a black man does his thing, you got a bunch of fucking feminists coming out the woodworks with their fuck shit, you know. How does, uh, how does, uh, how does, how does Kanye West get a pass, but Nate Parker gets, gets the, gets the, the black woman's boot in his ass? Huh? How does he get, how does he get the, the boot from the black woman? You know, where's the Black Lives Matter people at? You know what I mean? It amazes me how brainwashed a lot of these dudes do or a lot of these dudes are or the lack of research that they do. You know? Into, uh, you know, these these types of weak organizations. Where, where are these people at? You know, I see Kanye West gets a pass, though, because he... Kanye West gets a pass because Kanye West will check check you. He'll check you like a G, you know what I mean? But Nate Parker, you know, he, he you know if he says something wrong, he uh, you know he says something wrong to the the sisterhood of failure. You know, he'll uh, you know he he uh, you know he know he can't say nothing anyway because. 
he know that the uh that he's trying to put his movie out he's trying to protect his career and all these other kind of shit see these women know that they could attack that they can attack him but they're not going to attack Kanye West they could attack uh what's the dude name from uh the Netflix the black dude damn I don't know these people now <laughs> but uh yeah him Y'all, y'all gonna tell me in the comments like, so I was just say, yeah, that dude. <laughs> and uh, he, Luke Cage, yeah, <laughs> the Luke Cage thing. Uh, he is, uh, he is, uh, you know, he doesn't get a pass because, because he's still worried about his career. And a black woman knows that she can fuck with a nigga who's. Who's, who's worried about his career, but they can't fuck with Kanye. You know what I mean? He don't give a fuck about you. He uh, he got his he got his uh, woman. He flossing her in your face. Ain't none of y'all jumping up and said nothing, cause you know Kanye will check you. <laughs> y'all know that. Go at Kanye. I dare you to go at Kanye. I dare any of you weak feminists to go at, at Kanye. But like I said, man, the truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, please don't listen to these women. Uh, and the, and, hold on one second. Hmm. I'm walking, so I got to get past the spot. But, uh. Um, you know, but remember one thing, man, you know, the, uh, the biggest, the biggest, uh, opposition that black men are going to face is from, you guessed it, the black woman. That's the biggest, that's going to be the biggest op- opposition that you are going to face, especially black men who are worried about their careers, you know, who are, you know, worried about their jobs, their livelihoods. See, they know that they can attack these kinds of men. You know, especially the, the thing they did with Nate Parker. Oh my goodness, man. The thing they did with Nate Parker, you can see that coming. You can see that, you can see that, you know, they're only going to pick on a weak target, a dude who can't actually fight back. If a, if, a, if you about to drop a movie, you about to drop a movie and there's a bunch of opposition from some phony feminist. Uh, you know, you're not going to go on the offensive and go upside their head because you worried about your movie. You know, you weren't. I mean, that movie was probably off the chain. I didn't go see it. I don't really go see movies like that no more. You know, I don't really go see movies like that no more. You know, but I will buy it when uh, when it comes out on uh, DVD. I just I just don't I just don't really have time for it. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm doing so much. You know, but black men, please do not. Do not, uh, do not consider these women's opinion. I mean, you know, the, the, the only, the only dudes, the only men who really have to consider these women's opinion are, you know, are men who, you know, who, who they are over in the workplace or pub men in the public eye who they could attack weak men in the public eye who they can attack, you know, and, uh, simps and lame-ass niggas, you know what I mean, dudes who ain't got their shit together, those are the only men that these women can attack, they cannot attack, they cannot attack a man, a real man, a man who got his stuff together, because he know, because they know that man can get them fired from their jobs. 
They are the Anyway, black men are always loud. On that note, I want to say peace. I want to thank everybody for listening to these videos, man. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, man. <laughs> or comment. Please comment. Like. Thumbs up, man. Put the thumbs up on it. But uh, something. Do something, man. Take some action, man. Anyway, I want to know what I want to say. Peace. Get on the five steps. I got to pay.